Hi, and welcome back to my kitchen table. I'm still designing my small bathroom. I've never done this before, actually. So this is a new thing for me. I know that we're making tiles. He'll want me to answer things just like that. And I have to warn you that drawing is not my forte. A little different. Hi and welcome back to my kitchen table. I'm still designing my small bathroom and this morning I've already measured all the walls and all the spaces so this is my starting point. So today I really want to visualise exactly what it's going to look like from each angle so I'm hoping just to sketch out I've never done this before actually so this is a new thing for me but I'm hoping to sketch out each wall view so I know exactly how I envisage it looking and then I also need to start working out the configuration of the tiles so we know that we're making tiles and fortunately we did try and start over the weekend but our local DIY store was just way too expensive for the material, so we've now ordered those. I never want to pay the Enkeys prices. It's now concentrating again. Some old kitchen shelves that came out of kitchen units, four quid each. Where, where are they? That's what I'm talking about, this. That's quite a way It then. is a little way away, yeah. But. And so we are making black and white checkerboard floor tiles and then we already have our wall tiles too and I need to make sure that we know exactly what the configuration is because I know full well that as soon as we pick up momentum and Mark starts going with it again he's just going to crack on and he'll want me to answer things just like that so personally I'm far better if I'm organized and if I have it all written down and sketched out. The first thing that I'm going to do is as accurately as possible move my rough sketch onto graph paper and so try and make it to scale. So I've already worked out that five centimetres equals one small square. Now my start line is this line, which is this wall, and it actually goes off at an angle because that's what the extension does. The, the extension is built like that because the house itself, the main house itself, is a bit wonky. So that's our starting point. And this is the line where the shower goes. So let's see what we can do here. So there's my bathroom diagram to scale. You can see it's quite a long space. We've already got quite a few plans, but just to explain the shape of the shower, that's actually the side of the extension and that runs along the boundary, which goes like that. So the bedroom also goes along at that strange angle. So this is a long, narrow space that we need to do something with. Now here, we're going to convert an old railway carriage door into a pharmacy cabinet. The toilet is here and then the sink will go here. So let me start by putting the pharmacy cabinet in because I want that to be a sight line going from the bedroom, which is here. This is the door into the ensuite and I want the sight line to be right in the centre. So let me add that in first. It's not going to be very deep. So there's the centre line that I've already marked on. Now it's details like this that really do drive Mark insane. But I think the devil is in the detail, as they say. Now the other thing that we're going to do is actually put something in here. Now we were talking about a built-in cupboard and then we were looking at cupboards at the weekend. 
in loses. But actually, looking at this, I think a built-in cupboard would be much better because actually we could build it across and then disguise the fact that it's slightly askew. So I think that would be the best idea there. And how big would that make that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. take it up to 10 so that would be half a meter that would be more than big enough for towels I think actually we could take it to 40 so yeah 40 go across there with that That is another job for Mark's list, but that makes perfect sense. So that's a cupboard. Perfume. Display. And then we just need to work out here. So the toilet and the sink are all going to be built in to one unit. Right, I've just measured the toilet. And so we're not going to want the cupboard that runs along here any deeper than 30 centimetres. So I've marked that out on there. And also because of the sight line, I do not want to see it while I'm looking straight ahead. So it also needs to be slightly in. So I think if we start that 15 centimetres in, that would work brilliantly. So let's put that on. Right, last bit now. So we're having a built-in toilet, so that's where that will go. The inspiration for that is from Spink's Nest, which I have done a video on, and I'll add a link in the description when I do a tour of Spink's Nest. And then the sink we've bought from a reclamation yard already, and that's to be delivered. So those are a double sink, but they're only small. And they will sit there. This is really beginning to take shape. Now one of the things that I identified last week, which was already playing on my mind that I knew, is that we didn't have anywhere for a towel rail. So now I'm going to have a brass pipe running all the way along there like that. This is the shower screen. This is the shower so that's it. I really can't get anything else in. I don't think I have ever been so organised. This is just brilliant. So now I really have a clear vision of all the measurements, which means now that I can plan where lights are going above the sink, to plan the cupboard out, all sorts of things. So it just takes me that next step further and Mark will have all the information that you could possibly need. So now let me just sketch out, not to scale, but now let me sketch out each wall so I can get a visual of what, what they'll look like as well. Okay, so let's start off with this wall here. I won't include the shower and I won't include the cupboard. And I have to warn you that drawing is not my forte, but let's give it a go. Oh, gosh. Start again. Hold on. Let's start again. Right, so that's the doorway. And this is the shower. So the shower is here. Now let's start off with the pharmacy cupboard. So we're going to have, this is, the, there's a cupboard here. Let me, uh, but the, we're not gonna draw that in. So let's start off with the pharmacy cupboard. 
This is, we've got an old railway carriage door, which we're going to wall mount and turn into a cupboard. So there will be a glazed bit there that says perfumes. And then there is the railway carriage window and a leather panel. And then there'll be shelves inside with fox mirror behind and then all my perfumes will be here. Well, I say all my perfumes, I'm making it sound as though I've got loads, but I haven't. But maybe I can get some nice perfume bottles or something. So those, that will be that. And you will see that if this is the bedroom, if we're looking in, that will be the sight line there. So then actually on floor level, we're having a built-in unit with the sinking. Again, not to scale, I'm not exactly sure where these will sit. But So this will be, we've got a double sink and they're actually joined up. So that will go there, but there's two sinks. And then the toilet will be built in here as well. My inspiration for this is taken from Spinx Nest and I actually did a house tour of Spinx Nest, which I will add a link in the description so you can go back and see the inspiration for the toilet there. Now this I haven't decided yet, but I'm quite tempted to have panelling, some sort of panelling going all the way across the back there. So all of this will be painted the same colour, whatever colour that is, I haven't decided yet. The taps will be wall mounted, this is where my drawings get very very dodgy so I do apologise. <laughs> Those are the wall mounted taps and I think at this moment in time I think that I just want them made out of copper. So this is panelling, let's imagine it's tongue and grieve I think. Obviously I'd need a mirror here. So would the mirror go above the panelling? I think it would go above the panelling, probably sit on top of the panelling. So a mirror all the way across, or maybe two double mirrors, which then means I need some lights here. And here. How about that? Which also means I can identify a space here for a picture. If I wanted to put a picture, I have actually got a nice space there for a picture as well. So that feels as though it's coming together. Moving on, I'm now going to do this wall here, which really isn't going to take me very long at all. Right, so this is the shower. This is the doorway. So we're going to have panelling here, which will be made out of the same wood that we're using for the shower room, which is actually reclaimed science desks. And then all the way along here is going to be a foxed mirror. Now, what I was talking about earlier, here, I'm going to have a towel rail going all the way across, just at the top of the panelling. Probably brass, some sort of reclaimed brass. And then the towels can hang down anywhere along there. We've got underfloor heating, so wherever it is, that's really going to keep those nice and dry. This is where it gets even more complicated, so let's try and do this view. Oh, let's see. Right, so. So we've got the shower cubicle there. And the roof actually comes across there. So the shower cubicle isn't going all the way up to the top. Now this is where the top of the cupboard will come to. So I'll just mark that out there. And then in the shower cubicle, There'll be a window there, a piece of marble inside, and then just 
one or two hooks just down the side. If I did want to just hang a towel there, I could do. I need to check that. I need to make sure that when I'm on the toilet that that's not too too close and that actually things can fall down below this cupboard. But anyway, that's the idea. And then there'll be a very thin strip here of the same wood just to mark off the doorway. And then on this side, so on the other side, this is where the towel rail will come out here. So not a lot more, I don't think, to show here. Now there, there is going to be a bit of detail here, like it's some sort of edging. So we are going to work that out, but we're not that far yet. Well, I don't know how useful you found that, but I found that incredibly useful just actually starting to visualise it. Mark and I have been talking about this for so long. Sometimes I think things get lost in translation and also it's really made me focus. So I thought that I just needed one colour for the bathroom, but actually it's quite apparent that with the built-in cupboard, which is somewhere, I've lost that already. I didn't draw a diagram, did I? Um, anyway, the woodwork, which is here, and the panelling needs to be a different colour in my mind to the walls. And my electrician has also been asking me where to put the lights. And I've been flailing around, not really knowing. And now I know exactly where the toilet's going, exactly where the sinks are going and where the lights are too. So it's a good day. I'm so excited. Now, just before I go, I have bought a paint sample. This is more for the bedroom. So I'm thinking for the bathroom burgundies and possibly a pink and so this sight line that I talked about when you look th through the bathroom will be pinks and burgundies and then I'm thinking of green in the bedroom and you'll be able to see th through from the green into the pinks and burgundies that's the plan at the moment so I bought this at the weekend I can't find a paintbrush, so as soon as the weather's not blowing a hoolie outside, I'll be able to go and get a paintbrush. But this, oh, can't get it open. This is a Farron Ball colour. And it's not the colour that I actually thought that I was going to go for originally. Oh, I shouldn't use a vintage spoon. That's bending. Let me see what else I can find. Nope. Gosh, that was some effort to get into there. <laughs> Used all sorts of things, but we got there in the end. Anyway, here it is, the green that I'm thinking for the bedroom. As soon as I can find a paintbrush, I will paint it onto a sample, but that's called Yeebridge Green. I think it's Yeebridge um, from Fair and Ball. So I like it. I can't believe that I'm actually thinking about green. Anyway, Hopefully that was useful. I'd like to bring you along for the journey. Please make some comments down below and let me know what other types of content you'd like to see. And obviously give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.